Our right, your left, Kobe Batty. He's in town because uh, the new James uh, Franco films uh, that he's in is uh, opening at the New York Film Festival tomorrow night. So he's up from Richmond. Uh, Steve Taylor. And uh, heroic appearance uh, with a sore collarbone, Scott Petito. The co-founder uh, with Tuli Kufferberg of the Fox, um, Ed Sanders. Yeah. This is an adaptation from a poem by William Blake, Auguries of Innocence. Uh, it's something he wrote in 1807. Um, Auguries of Innocence. sand and a heaven in a wild flower hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour a robin red breast in a cage but the soul of heaven in a rage Dove house filled with doves and pigeons shudders hell through all its regions. Homeless, 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 homeless. A dog starved at his master's gate predicts the ruin of the state. Horse misused upon the road calls to heaven for human blood. Each outcry of the hunted a fiber from the brain does tear. A skylark wounded in the wing, a cherubim does cease to sing. Homeless, 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 homeless. The man asleep on the subway grate dreams the doom of the warrior state. She who weeps in a cardboard cart calls an end to the Wall Street heart. Homeless, homeless, homeless. The babe that weeps the rod beneath writes revenge in realms of death. The beggar's rags fluttering in air does to rags a heaven's tear. Sword and gun calls each strikes the summers. One might run from the laborer's hands, shall buy and sell the miser's lands. Homeless, 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 homeless. Every night and every To misery are born every morning, every night. Some are born to sweet delight. God appears and God is light to those poor souls who dwell in night. But does a human form display to those who dwell in realms of day? To those who dwell in realms of day?
is a song from a newly song from our first album, uh, Carpe Diem. Yeah. <laughs> The fucks love each other, and the fucks love you, and two of you too. So where are we? Carpe diem. Western source for the folks, and he was the anarcho Hasidic uh, <laughs> source for the folks. And the, I didn't uh, realize that he borrowed part of the melody of his song from a Yiddish folk song. Anyway, morning, morning. <laughs> Morning, 
sessions uh, Julie was able to do. And we recorded his vocal at uh, his and Sylvia's loft. And uh, then did the rest in the studio up at uh, Scott Petito's NRS studios. Um, called Backward Jewish Soldiers. <laughs> Soldiers strolling back from war Hug your Gentile brothers As you've done before Presidents and premiers perish Empires rise and fall But hearts of old compassion Still might save us all and Kohelet blend wisdom and fresh love kiss the hand that helps you blue sky still above backward Jewish soldiers marching from all wars embrace your Gentile sisters as you've done before and presidents perish, all empires fade and fall, but hearts of sweet compassion still may save us all. Yeshu and Kohelet blend wisdom and fresh love, kiss the hand that helps you, blue sky still above. Since and premiers perish, empires rise and fall, but hearts of old compassion still might save us all. Yeshu and Kohelet blend wisdom and fresh love. 
just a hand that helps you Blue sky still above Backward Jewish soldiers Marching back more wars Embrace your gentle sisters As you've done before Kings and presidents perish All empires fade and fall But hearts of sweet compassion Still may save us all Kings and presidents perish All empires fade and fall But hearts of sweet compassion Still may save us all So we'll uh, close uh, our part of this uh, wonderful uh, salute to the great Thule Kupferberg, marvelous genius. I used to tell interviewers he was the Noel Coward of popular music, but he's more than that. He's, a, he's created a body of works that will go on and on and on through the centuries. Uh, this is the song that this was the first thug song, really. I, I wrote it when I was at NYU in 1964, and sitting out in the park, and I was inspired by Allen Ginsberg's uh, visions he had had of William Blake. And this is the first poem that William Blake ever wrote when he was about 11 years old. How sweet I roam from field to field. How sweet I roam from field to field And tasted all the summer's pride Till I the prince of love beheld Who in the sunny beams did glide He showed me for my head and blushing roses for my brow he led me through his gardens fair where all his golden pleasures grow with sweet may dews my wings were wet and Phoebus fired my vocal rage. He caught me in his silken net and shut me in his golden cage. He loves to sit and hear me sing.